of, of Hamas terror organization was a premeditated and outrageous provocation. The organizers are well known for their ties to global jihad, Al-Qaeda, and Hamas. They have a history of armed smuggling and deadly terror. On board the ship, we found weapons prepared in advance and used against our forces. The organizers' intent was violent, their method was violent, and the results were unfortunately violent. Israel regrets any loss of life and did everything to avoid this outcome. We repeatedly called upon the organizers and all those who were associated with them through diplomatic channels and any other means we could to stop this provocation. The so-called humanitarian aid was not for humanitarian purpose. Had it been for humanitarian purpose, they would have accepted our offer to deliver all humanitarian uh, supply through the appropriate channels which are used on a daily basis as we make sure that Gaza will not be in short of humanitarian supplies. On a daily basis, we do that. We ask them to send this through the appropriate channels, whether it's the UN, whether it's the Red Cross, whether it's our uh, people, but to no avail. In fact, what they said was that it's a humanitarian campaign, but they said repeatedly that their intent and purpose was to break the blockade, the maritime blockade on Gaza. The maritime blockade on Gaza is very legal and justified by the terror that Hamas is applying in Gaza. Allowing these ships to go in an illegal way to Gaza would have opened, in fact, a corridor of smuggling arms and terrorists to Gaza with the results, inevitable results, of many, many thousands of civilian death and uh, violence all over the area. After these uh, repeated calls were not heeded by the organizers, we told them that they will not be allowed to break the blockade, as according to maritime law, we have the right to do that. Unfortunately, they also, people, the organizers upon the ship, did not heed the calls of our forces this morning to peacefully follow them and bring a closure, a peaceful closure uh, to this uh, event. The time now at 9.38. In international waters. Well, as soon as there was a decision to try to stop the flotilla, this idea is as good or actually as bad as others. Uh, we should have taken preliminary steps since this was this was not truly intended about bringing humanitarian aid into Gaza. If this was the true intention, Israel gave numerous options for that to be achieved. Humanitarian aid goes into Gaza all the time. The purpose here was truly to create a provocation, to create a skirmish, and we should not have fallen for that because but, but this how, is what the other with, side with was respect, looking how, for. With, with respect, how could you have avoided it, though? Was there another way of stopping this vessel approaching... Oh the coastline of Gaza? I mean, could the ship have been rammed? There were what, what was the way ideas. of solving it without violence? There were other ideas. Since this is not a military issue, for example, uh, we have a soldier who's a prisoner of war, Gilad Shalit, who has absolutely no rights, has not seen any Red Cross visitor. The Red Cross has said nothing about it. We should have, for example, said we will let the flotilla go through if Gilad Shalit gets a Red Cross visit. Or, for example, another idea that was proposed is to ask the Palestinian Authority, 
which is the side that we're negotiating with, that they should ask Israel to let the flotilla go through. That would be, for example, something that we would do as part of the proximity talks and hand that victory to the Palestinian Authority rather to, than to Hamas. So there are ways to engage in a war of ideas, in a war of images that do not involve soldiers. And this is what was incumbent upon us. Once it happened, neither side was innocent. Those on the ship were quite violent as well. And a priori, they put themselves in the midst of a war situation between Israel and Hamas. But part of being wise yeah. about it is preventing the other side from achieving exactly the goals of their provocation. So, some of those on the ship included a, a Holocaust survivor in their 80s. I mean, not all of them clearly expected what was coming. But this is a still a live situation, isn't it? This ship is inbound for Ashdod. There are reports yes. of people barricading themselves in cabins. Uh, the Israeli Defense Forces and the other organs of the states that have the opportunity to, well, get the situation right or wrong from here on in. Well, this is clearly an ongoing situation. Uh, and we have to quickly move it away from the military situation and back to where it was supposed to be. Now there's very, the work is mostly on containment. Uh, what could have been done, unfortunately, is passed. Israel has expressed its deep sorrow uh, for the death and the lives that were lost. It has soldiers now that it has to be concerned for. It now has to be concerned to make sure that all those on board the flotilla can go back safely to their homes. Uh, this is really what we're trying to make sure of now and to close the situation. But clearly, this was an effort in one arena, a PR arena, an intellectual arena, and it should have never gone to the military arena. Once it was there, neither side was innocent. Okay. That's Dr. Einat Wolf, who is a member of the Knesset. Thanks very much indeed.